Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So it's Sunday. Just getting my normal Sunday routine done. I'm always trying to stay busy. One of the ways that we fight depression and anxiety is to not just keep ourselves busy with idle chores, but to always be moving forward in our lives. To be filling your day every day, seven days a week, with responsibilities, productivity, enjoyment, creativity, you know, look in your grab bag of things to do. There's all kinds of areas that you can work towards and, and do that stuff. The more you sit around, when you're dealing with depression and anxiety, the more you sit around doing nothing, just wasting your time, the deeper you go into that abyss. It, you're, you can't wait it out. You can't just expect that fog to lift. You have to get active. There's many ways to do this. I've made many videos about how to conquer anxiety and depression and get over panic attacks and symptoms of PTSD and, and that whole world. You know, addiction is in there because a lot of us used to be drug addicts and alcoholics, maybe you still are, because of depression. You know, we went past the party days and went right into just medication. I want to talk today about happiness. I know I've talked about this before, but I feel like it's necessary to talk about again. Got to keep talking about some of this stuff until it sits in, sets in, you know. Happiness is not a brass ring. Happiness is not something outside of you. If you're waiting for happiness, you'll never find it. It'll never come to you. You'll wait forever. You'll die unhappy. Happiness isn't something outside of you. You're not going to go and find it. You're not going to leave your house and walk around and walk into it like a cloud or something. It's not going to appear all of a sudden in the sky. It, it, it's, it's not outside of your head. It's inside of you. So you have to create it. That's what that means. You create happiness. Anybody can do it. You've done it before. If you're sitting there telling yourself and you're depressed and lonely and horrible and feeling awful and you're like, well, I can't do that. You can do that. You may not want to do that. Some people use their depression as a blanket. They live in that world because it enables them, enables them to remain fucked up. It enables them to continue with no progression in their lives. It gives them an excuse to be the same loser they were last year. At a certain point, People in your life will start walking away from you because of your depression. They may have stayed there for a while and pat you on a head like you're a lost cat. But after a while, they're going to walk off. And a lot of depressed people are so clingy and needy and not recognizing the empowerment that comes from within. Using other people like leeches and vampires, like they're a vampire, like they're a leech, they're bloodsuckers. And they think that the, the good people in their lives are the ones that can stick it out. I feel sorry for those people that are still sticking it out with you. Because you're a burden to them and to everybody around you. Happiness comes from within. I know it's hard to hear. It feels like a punishment to hear that because we want so much, like a child, to suck on a mother's tit and to receive something external. But happiness comes from within you. I'll say it a million times until you get it. You have to create it. You have to sit down. You have to think. You have to ask yourself questions. Why am I feeling this way? And counteract that with the opposite. What would make me happy? And then go do that. Make a plan and take steps towards that. Oh, it's just not that easy. It is that easy. The part of you that tells you that you can't do it is the weakness. It's the devil. It's whatever you want to call it. It's captured you. And the longer you stay in stasis, the longer you have just remain in that plateau, that you go nowhere, do nothing, the longer you will go nowhere and do nothing the longer you'll stay there and everybody else around you will move forward and it feels like they're leaving us. It feels like they're jerks. It feels like they don't understand us. They don't love us. They love you, but they can't help you. They cannot spoon feed you happiness. I can't just take it out of me and say, here you go. If I could, I would. I have extra. I would, I would gladly make you happy. Nobody in this world can make you happy. Nobody in this world can make you sad. Both of those emotions come from within you. Other people can't ruin your day. It's impossible. It's never happened 
ever before once in the entire history of the world. Nobody's ever ruined another person's day. It's never happened. It's impossible to happen. It goes against all the laws of physics, all the laws of nature. You can only do this to yourself. When you start getting this stuff, it, it, it feels a little bit easier because when you realize that you have it in there, even if it's just a tiny little spark, it may not be a flame. That happiness may not be burning inside of you, ready to just come out like a phoenix. It may just be a little coal, a little ember, a little pilot light in your furnace. And you have to cultivate that. You have to find it. That comes from introspection, from being inside yourself. You're not going to find it sitting at the bar. You're not going to find it in sex. You're not going to find those types of things in external sources of validation. That's just a baby sucking on a mother's tit. Look, it's nature versus nurture. This is psychological. You can nurture yourself. You can love yourself. You can be happy within yourself. I've done this. The reason why I'm talking about this is because I have done this. I was the type of person that was always seeking happiness. People would ask me all the time, what do you want? I want happiness. You will never get what you want in life. It's a proverb. It's a rule. It goes across all cultures and religions. You will never get what you want. Christians understand this. You will only get what you need. You have everything that you need already within you. You're born with all the knowledge of the universe already within you. It's cellular. It's in your cells. It's in your DNA. All of human history and evolution can be found within your DNA, within your body. It's up to you to start unlocking some of this, some of this knowledge, some of this wisdom. Stop see seeking for gurus. Stop seeking mentors. There's nothing wrong with learning. There's nothing wrong with absorbing more uh, information and having more ammo in your, in your stockpile, you know, in your armory. That's good. You want that. Because when the shit hits the fan, you want to be able to go in there, look around at your weapons and say, okay, like Batman in his little lair and say, I'll take that, I'll take that, and I'll take that. And now we're going to go to battle. That's how you build yourself. Happiness starts from within inside of you. You can live a life that you try to do things that make you happy. You can try to suck external things off uh, other people that make you happy. But if you can't be happy sitting by yourself in a room, and if you can't develop that and find that, Look within yourself and go look around. Ah, there it is. We need you. You're over there. Yeah, we, we, we need you in the front here. So why don't you come with me and grab your happiness by the hand. Walk it up those stairs, wherever you found it inside your mind and your body, inside those depths. And put it in the front of your, for, of your focus. It's always there for you. Happiness is something that once you've experienced it, you, you know what it is. And once you know what it is, it's always there. Anybody who's ever been happy once can be happy again. But you have to be willing to do this. It's frustrating to watch people who are sad and depressed and anxiety filled and riddled with, you know, uh, blindness like a veil, the veil of Maya, the cloud of illusion that, 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 that's over us and we just can't see through the fog and think that life is so hard and it's happening to us. You're happening to life. Life is all about choice. I know I've talked about a lot of this stuff in my videos, but it's worth going over again. Take some time today and to find where that happiness lays inside of you so you know where it is. For future reference, you know how to call it forward. These are your spirits that you can call them forward anytime you want. This is within you. And when you find that, you become truly happy, not one of these lost souls, these empty vessels always looking to be filled by others or by something. Shopping, drugs, alcohol, sex, vice, attention from family and friends. You don't need that stuff. And when you can find happiness within you and be truly happy, genuinely happy, not a fake version of happiness, then you can make others see the light as well. You can start preaching your gospel. You can start uh, infecting others with your happiness and people catch that fire. You can go around and help people to light their pilot lights. I can't make you happy. 
I can tell you jokes if you laugh, but your depression is going to still be there. I can lead you away for a second and distract you. And you can say, oh, thank you. I needed that distraction. But when you return, your problems are still there. you got to fight that stuff. you got to look for your demons. Where are they? Search them all out. Point them all out. Every one of them. And kill every one of them. Cage every one of them. Tame every one of them. Make friends with every one of them. Turn them into allies instead of enemies. You know, and that would, uh, President Lincoln said, I can't remember the exact quote, but he says, do I not make allies out of my enemies when I make them my friends? And you can do this with your demons, with those things that chase you, with those dark areas, with that stuff that brings you down. I've been there. And felt just like the worst piece of shit. There's this dark side of me that's always infecting me, always ruining everything. You can make that less. You can use that to your advantage. Use that as fuel to your fire to make you motivated for positivity instead of bringing you into a world of negativity. It's all just food for thought. Happiness is a choice. And so is sadness. So don't blame the world. Don't blame others. Don't blame the president. Don't blame your boyfriend or girlfriend. Don't blame the cops or your job. Don't blame your landlord. Don't blame anyone else, your kids or the neighbor that you don't like. It's all on you. The reason why you may be upset or having problems, having sadness, having anxiety is all within you. Those are demons and ghosts and, and, and energy within you that needs to be addressed, needs to be loved needs to be turned from fear into love because those are the only two things that exist in this universe is fear and love. That's all that exists. Everything else is just an extension of that. And you have a choice to follow one or the other. It's up to you. Thanks for watching.